Hello, everyone, and welcome back to your favorite political satire show, With the Facts. I'm your host, Jack Kessler. And I'm Thomas Kohler. Let's get to it. It looks like shooting our guns into Hurricane Florence didn't work too good because hurricane season has slammed the southeastern coast of America yet again. Before Hurricane Dorian reached places like Florida and the Carolinas, it made landfall in the Bahamas at a Category 5 and has been described as being the strongest storm on record to ever hit there. This slow-moving storm was huge enough to scare our weather expert-in-chief, Donald Trump, who told reporters that he's, quote, not sure that he's ever even heard of a Category 5. But I thought that Trump was familiar with storms. Major hurricanes aren't exactly a new phenomenon. Does Katrina ring a bell? Well, I guess he only knows about storms when their last name is Daniels. Additionally, the aftermath of this hurricane sparked what is now being referred to as hashtag Sharpiegate, following Trump's persistence on including Alabama in the projected path of Dorian's destruction. In his latest epic takedown of fake news, the president went as far as to Sharpie on a new circle over Alabama that definitely wasn't noticeable and looked 100% authentic. And of course, this drama sparked a whole bunch of memes. Anything from his tiny hands to his promised border wall weren't spared the touch of the pen. If only Trump could magically sharpie away all of his problems, maybe he could scribble together higher approval ratings. Ooh, or better yet, an actually believable toupee. In other news, Democratic presidential hopeful Kamala Harris just can't seem to stop herself from laughing at the most inappropriate times. If her chuckling over smoking weed back in the day despite locking up countless people of color for the same crime wasn't enough, Harris is back in the news for yet another embarrassing mishap. This time around, Harris was caught laughing at a town hall in response to a man who used derogatory language to describe President Trump's actions. Her answer to him, quote, well said. While she now claims she didn't hear what her supporters said, I'm starting to think backtracking on every issue should be a part of Harris's campaign slogan. If supporting Medicare for all, criminal justice reform, and a Green New Deal is only true when it's convenient for her, then maybe she isn't really Kamala Harris for this, the people as much as she is Kamala for herself and her donors. And to wind things up, let's talk about everyone's favorite Trump. Don Jr. No. Ivanka? No. Uh, all right, Eric. No, I'm talking about Tiffany Trump. Recently, reports came out alleging that Donald Trump refused to take pictures with his forgotten daughter until she dropped a few pounds. Yikes. Coming from a man that is built like Mr. Krabs without the shell, it's hard to believe that he would be so boldly rude. Well, nothing really surprises us with Trump anymore, does it? Well, I think that's enough talk about Donald Trump for this week. I'm Jack Kessler. And I'm Thomas Kohler. Thank you for watching this week's episode, and we'll see you next time.